restrained us. We look like we all here. Everybody okay? Amen. We didn't get no, we didn't get reports of people who were having wrecks and stuff. So praise God, He kept us. And we gotta start giving God credit for that. Amen. Because I believe there's an angel looking out for me. I believe there are angels looking out for me and my family. I believe I would have been dead had God not sustained my life. You don't believe that? It was nothing but the power of God that kept me. You get hit on a freeway like that? If he had hit us on the side, we would have spun around. And then the next person could have hit us. But God's hand was there. Amen. And I thank God. Amen. I thank God. God is good. AdamandBeliever.com forward slash declaring things in 2023. Very important message. I, we, we have to declare certain things throughout the year. And I wanted to make sure that we did that as a church body. We have no idea the damage some of us have done to ourselves by saying the wrong thing. Yes. When you look into the cosmic realm, spiritual realm, you start learning about frequencies and how frequencies operate. I've taught y'all this on numerous occasions. That's why I don't fool with no sacred namers and all these folks that's worried about what language we're saying Jesus' name in because it doesn't have anything to do with that. It has everything to do with the frequencies you emit when you speak. That's what other realms go by. That's how they know whether you mean it or not. You can say anything. But the frequencies emitted from your being will categorize what you're saying as whether you mean it or not. Whether you're just speaking, like the Bible says, amiss. So you got to be careful with that. So we don't get caught up in, I don't care what you call Jesus. He know, he know who you're talking to. Amen. Get into some trouble around your father and you can just yell out, help! And he'll show up. Amen? You don't have to call your daddy by his first name. Matter of fact, you better not if it was my daddy. He ain't gonna help you. But yeah, it, so that's not even important. Those are things that people are debating and stuff for, some, for foolishness reasons to stop folks from going to church. You know, the devil's end time agenda is to stop people from coming to church. That's it. That's it. You were raised up in church. And going to church gave you a standard for yourself. Meaning that on one day or however many days of this week, I'm not going to do my thing. I'm going to do God's thing. That's what going to church trains you. Now folks have demonized church so much to folks, that, well, you don't have to go to church. Well, you don't have to benefit from all the benefits of it either. There are benefits to it. The number one is you giving God time to come together in fellowship. Well, I can do that at home by myself. I hope you do. Because with that attitude, I don't want you in here. We're coming here to fellowship together as one. That's pleasing to God. Amen. So there are certain things we have to declare this year. So we can speak what this year is going to be. And once you speak something, don't worry about what it looked like. You're not declaring it based on what it looks like. That's not faith. Faith is declaring it in spite of what it looks like. Calling it to be what you say it's going to be. Look at somebody and say, declaring things. In 20 and 23. And 23. That's the old preacher. And 23. 2023 has to be the year where we declare things the way they should be and not the way they appear. Amen. I could just close with that. This year, look at somebody say 2023 has to be the year. This has to be the one. Where you declare things the way they 
should be. And that's everything. Amen. And quit worrying about the government and what all that's doing. Declare things over your children. Speak to your wayward son, wayward daughter. Declare things over them. Don't speak it. Well, he going to be ignorant just like I was. Don't say that. Oh, I did that too. I was a fool. He going to be a fool. Don't say that. Declare it the way it should be. Amen. In your relationship, declare it the way it should. This marriage is jive. I hate this marriage. Don't say that. <laughs> Please don't call it jive. And don't say it in front of them. That's not how you make things better. It's a jive. I wish you'd bring me some flowers every now and then. You so jive. <laughs> I throw a plant. Pot, potted plant at your head. Here you go. That's not how you get anything. Amen. You walk around the house all day without your hair comb. Comb your hair, woman. You don't talk like that, even if you're thinking it. Now, comb your hair sometimes. Comb your hair sometimes. Now, we don't want to give the devil no room. Don't give the devil room. No. <laughs> Just don't give him room. Comb the hair. <laughs> but you don't be talking like that. You old stupid dick nut. You're just dumb. No, 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 no. You declare it the way it should be. Girl, you smart. Well, you know what I mean. <laughs> Declare it the way it should be. But you're speaking, and the best way to do it is when everybody's asleep. Everybody's asleep, you go in a room, you go room to room. You don't even have to open the door all the way. You just whisper in there. Yeah, he's going to be right. God's going to touch his heart. He's going to live for God. Close that door. Open another door. Yeah, my marriage is going to be great. We're going to be in love like we were when we first met. It's going to happen in Jesus' name. Close that door. Open another door. Speak it over your house. Surround your house with a declaration of the way it should be. Don't, and, and please don't speak other folks' words. Because other folks will hate on you when you're doing well. They'll hate on you to prevent you from doing well. You don't speak other people's words. You speak your words that line up with God's plan. Amen. You think God's plan is for you to fail? God's plan has never been for you to fail. God's plan is success. He doesn't know how to fail. He can do anything but fail. Remember that old song? My God can do anything but fail. He can't fail. So declare it. 2 Corinthians 5 and 2 Corinthians 5 and 7. For we walk not, or we walk by faith, and what? We walk by faith. That means it ain't happened yet. Hasn't happened yet, but I'm gonna declare it in my walk. I'm gonna declare it. Amen. We already, we're already seeing crazy weather patterns. Are we seeing those? viruses and fearful occurrences the bible forecasts fearful occurrences amen weather balloon spying on folk <laughs> fearful occurrences the way god forecasted it for the end time so we're already seeing these things luke 21 11 says and great earthquakes shall be in Diverse places, meaning places where they should normally not be. And famines and pestilences, which are diseases. And fearful sights and great signs shall there be from heaven. The Bible already predicted that these things would be occurring. 
Things are not always what they appear to be. And we must be able to declare God's plan and trust in it no matter how it looks. Now, this is important. We must be able to declare God's plan and trust in it no matter how things look. You can't do that as a cynic. You can't do that as a cynic. You can't trust it because you're going by how it looks. It looks bad. Psalms 118 and 8. It is better to trust in the Lord than to put confidence in man. Y'all still with me? There is intimidation when there is no declaration. The enemy can keep us wavering, tossing to and fro because our confession and belief is not solid. Ephesians 4 and 14, that we henceforth be no more children tossed to and fro, carried about by every wind of doctrine and by the slight of man and cunning craftiness, whereby they lie in wait to deceive. The Bible said don't be tossed to and fro. That's how social media is, a tosser, to toss you to and fro. Your day, a lot of y'all, y'all, your day depends on what you first see. Somebody send you the wrong video, your day is ruined. Ooh, Lord, we gonna have to pray for Mary J. I'm telling you, Lord, touch her body, touch her, because I got these concert tickets. When did Christians start going to Mary J. Blige concert? Somebody sent me a link with a whole bunch of preachers there. Marriage? But yeah, what you see online, that judge is your day. Family member put up something crazy because you know they use Facebook for that. To vent on, against everybody. Someone in my family... <laughs> Or they do the sympathy post. I'm just here. Ain't nobody came by to say nothing to me. But I see all y'all having fun. But ain't nobody came. Don't you hate the internet? Man, social media is the worst thing ever happened. Yeah. Whole day ruined. That means you're being tossed to and fro. And you know people like that. Come to one day, hey brother, hey, oh glory to his name. Then the next, no, next day, hey brother, how you doing? You still good? Mm. What's that thing, Eeyore? Oh. Nobody likes me. And then the next day, how you doing, brother? Man, blessed and highly favored in the Lord. <laughs> brother, you on meds? Are you good? Like, have you been tested? I got the bipolar test right here. Yeah. That's to and fro. To and fro. Unstable in all their ways. Wavery. Social media and the news will keep you doubting and afraid of what's coming. The intent of the media is to change your speech. Let me say that again. The intent of the media is to change your speech. The media was designed to change your declaration. To alter what you speak. So it can change what happens to you. Think about that. Yeah, that's why the feeds come to you. To change what you said and make you say what they're saying. Make you come in agreement with the world instead of God. Change your speech. Because if you change your speech, your whole environment's changed. Everything's changed. Amen. Death and life is in the power of the tongue. So that changes everything when your speech changes. And the devil knows that, so he needs to get you to say something. If he can't get you to say it, he'll just sing it in a song and make you sing along. Now you rapping, I'm a scoochie, I'm a hoochie, I'm a stank, stank. You repeating the lyrics. Amen. 
And everybody looking at you like, you right. You declared it over yourself. I, see, don't let me go back to the truth behind here, but I preached this back. Oh, it, oh, I had her. It was a long time ago. Yeah, but it's what you speak. That's why they put it in the music to make you say it. Now you need to go back over your record collection and figure out what you've spoken over yourself. You wonder why you're praying and can't get the breakthrough in that area? You need to study and find out what you spoke. Oh, Pastor, now it can't be that complicated. That's not complicated. That's easy. What's the difference in me saying it and singing it? At least when you say it, you say it once, but when you sing it, it it's in the vamp. It keeps repeating. <laughs> yeah, that's what the devil did. He designed music to do that. Oh, I just not getting rid of some of my old records. Hey, some of them old. They just I don't know. Okay, well keep singing that stuff. But you're declaring it. There is no way you can fill yourself with doubt, fear, unbelief, and maintain a strong declaration of faith. No. No, you're getting a daily dose of the world, social media, and you on there reading everything, watching everything, learning. There's no way you can maintain a strong declaration. Galatians 6 and 8, for he that soweth to his flesh shall of the flesh what? Reap, Reap corruption. He's going to be corrupted. If you keep putting this stuff in your flesh, you're going to be corrupted. You can't fill yourself with corruption and not be corrupted. So you can't maintain a strong declaration of faith. But he that soweth to the spirit shall of the spirit reap what? Life everlasting. This is why many churches have been gripped by fear. They've been gripped with fear. Their declaration was strong back in the day. But now they are afraid to gather, afraid of catching something if they gather, and fearful of dying. Now when did the saints of God get fearful of death? If death is an enemy and we have power, why are we afraid of an enemy? We know it can't come until God say. So what? I look at somebody and say, what are you afraid of? If it's an enemy and we have power over the enemy, it can't come until God says. That ain't working independent of God. Man, I'm preaching it here, boy, folks. It's, death is not working independent of God. Devil came and said, hey, I want to kill Joe. You know he wanted to kill Joe. You take your hands off of him, God. I'm going to kill him. God said, well, no, I'm going to let you test him. But don't touch his life. That showed you who had the power. What did the devil say? Okay. He better say okay. What are you going to say? Well, no, nah, I don't know. I think I might have to. <laughs> but no, he had to obey God. Touch Job and leave his life couldn't touch his life so that show you who has power over death so why are you afraid of dying Proverbs 24 and 10 if thou faint in the day of adversity thy strength is what small that's what the devil wants I'm telling you that's what all the bad news coming on your feed is all about make your strength small so you'll fall you'll faint in the day of adversity. Y'all know how hard it is to pastor in 2023. You know how hard it is to pastor against social media and people's appetite for cynicism. And some folk come in here just to sit with their arms folded as cynics. 
know how hard that is? Yeah, hard. This generation, most of them don't respect any kind of authority. They don't say, sir. Yes, sir. They don't respect your call as a preacher. They will cuss you out because you're a preacher. They don't care. They don't care. It's tough pastoring. But it's worth it. Because I believe God is assembling an army right here. Y'all know you an army. Those of you that are truly enlisted. This is an army. Oh yeah, we done stood against some stuff and fought. And we have victories in here. Yeah. Amen. Anybody got a victory in here? Yeah. yeah, that's an army. And the beauty of you honoring the authority and the leadership of this church is you'll have it at home. It'll happen at home. Yeah. My wife, man, she don't have no respect for me. She didn't talk me all about me. Well, that's because you don't have no respect for me. You don't have no respect for your leadership. Why would she have respect for her leadership? Yeah. Folk crazy. It's hard to pass them, too. Amen. But you know what the Lord told me? Don't think about them. It was that simple. Okay, move on to the next point. Yeah, he said, because there are those that are going to be with you and those that are not. Jesus had one of those. So you know we're going to have them. Can I keep preaching in here? Look at somebody say declarations. You need to declare these things. You need to download this PDF, but we're going to declare them in here. I'm going to look at the big screen. We're going to de declare these things in here. First thing you need to declare, we confess that we believe in God and believe that no matter what we see and hear, we know God is in control. We have seen too much to doubt him. Anybody seen too much to doubt him? I've seen too much to doubt it. He has done too much to question him. Isaiah 40 and 28. Hast thou not known? Hast thou not? Hast thou not heard that the everlasting God, the Lord, the creator of the ends of the earth, fainteth not? Neither is weary. There is no searching of his understanding. My goodness. Let's go, Isaiah. Oh, we declare that we, 2023, will not get caught up in silly arguments. I'm not arguing with you about Christmas this year. I'm not arguing with you about Thanksgiving, my turkey and mashed potatoes and my dressing. I'm not arguing with you about no Juneteenth. Do what you want to, man. That's not up for argument. I'm not arguing with you about the white man and the black man and the red man and all the men's colors. We're not talking about that. Not in 2023. I'll let you borrow five, ten minutes in 2022. That has expired. I'm not listening to Negro mantics about Negro land and foolishness and how you wiring it in with the word of God, all of that heresy. I'm not listening to that. I'm not listening to debates about my belief. Brother, you, you don't believe the Bible. We have nothing to talk about. Because everything I talk about is based in the Bible. It's written in the Word. And I believe it is the inspired and only infallible Word of God. I believe every word of it is truth. And I live by the words of it. Brother, you're not coming to me in 2023. Stupid. We believe God is the true God. The God of the Bible. The Holy Bible. Amen. Not the book of Thomas. 
and the Gnostic books you read now because you think you're smart. Brother, the Holy Bible. Yeah, but the white man translated it. Well, he did a good job. He did a great job. I love it. It reads well. It's put together very nicely. Thank you, King James, for allowing them to do that. Well, King James was gay. Well, your waiter's gay. You still eat the food? The cook's in the back. You ain't asked what they serve and what they worship. You go to the Asian spot and eat that Chinese food. They got an orange and a cigarette down there for kabuki. And you in there, just more noodles, please. Don't you do that! We believe, we believe Jesus is the only way to God. And we are joint heirs with him. We believe Jesus is the only way, brother, so don't come talking to me. Don't tell me that nappy-headed foolishness. Yeah, I know that was racist, because what you're saying is racist. It's foolishness. It's not really Jesus. It's who? Zeus. 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 See, Zeus. 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 They're trying to say Zeus. Nobody's saying Zeus, I'm saying Jesus. And I promise you, every time I've called his name, he's heard me. Every time I've said his name, he's come through for me. In my darkest hour, when things, I didn't think things could ever get better. I called on the name of Jesus and he answered me. And every single demon, every demon all over this world, has respected the name of Jesus. I called it out and I cast the demon out under the authority of Jesus Christ. You may not know who I'm talking about, but the demons know who I'm talking about. The devil knows and that's all that's important. So brother, believe what you wanna believe. This is 2023. Titus 3 and 9. But avoid yes, <laughs> foolish questions. This is the Bible now. This is the Bible. Avoid foolish questions. That's a foolish question. Yeah. And genealogies. You know, where black people, white people, where everybody came from, where everybody, you know, the chosen, the lost ones. The, the Bible said avoid that. Avoid it. Don't, don't talk about that. And contentions. You know, you got a problem now. You done been a Christian for 20 years. Now you got a problem. Because you all of a sudden got something new. Had a wise man say one time, if it's new, it's not God. And if it's God, it's not new. Yeah, contentions, strivings about the so there's a whole group of dudes on the street corner striving about the law. They striving about the law. What are they striving about? The law. They striving. about. Y'all seen them? Y'all seen them? In the felt and the sequin and whatever, whatever materials was on sale that week. They, they, they striving. Striving about the law. That's all they're talking about is the law. They striving are they what are they striving about? The law. the law. The Bible said, avoid striving. Let's take the foolish questions, the genealogy, and contention out. Avoid foolish strivings about the law. Why are you striving about the law and the Bible tells you not to? See, brother, you don't understand. See, Titus, the I in Titus, it means. Because that's what they be doing. See, this book wasn't a part of the original Apocrypha. See, this book was, it was left on a rock and they came and they got it, the slave, the slave masters. 
and they put it Brother, that sound new. And if it's new, it's not God. <laughs> ah! Avoid foolish 2023. I'm avoiding all of it. Brother, you're not going to get 10 seconds. Soon as I see what you got on, I'm shutting it down, bro. All of a sudden, these brothers have spent all them years in, in church. And they come with something new. You ought to feel like the idiot. But I'm declaring what is right. Amen. We declare that we are not afraid to gather in faith and love. Rebuking all fear of our own brothers and sisters. No fear, I'm a hug you. I don't care what your test came back and said. I'm rebuking all fear. Coming together is essential in the coming year because of all the enemy is doing. 2 Timothy 1 and 7, for God hath not given us the spirit of fear, but of power, of love, and what? You know, fear will mess up your sound mind. Fear will make you go crazy. And your mind won't be sound and you'll make decisions based on crazy because of fear. We declare that we are healed of all sicknesses and diseases. Somebody need to say that right now. We declare that we are healed of all sicknesses and diseases. And we will overcome physical ailments that come just like in times past. Did he heal you in times past? Did you forget he healed you back in the day? He's the same God. So we will overcome physical ailments that come just like in times past. We are not afraid to die either. Amen. Amen. If you save and fear with the Holy Ghost, you ain't afraid to die. You're not afraid to die. And you, amen. And you know God's timing is his timing. My faith and confidence is in God's timing. We are not afraid to die either. If we must sacrifice our own lives for the cause of Christ, we will. Amen. Oh, everybody ain't going to clap on that one. <laughs> Somebody like that. Let me get things right first. I clap after the altar call. Had a rough weekend. <laughs> Y'all pray for me. <laughs> Amen. Amen. Mark 8 and 35. For whoever, whosoever will save his life shall lose it. But whosoever will lose his life for my sake and the gospels, the same shall what? Save it. We declare. Uh oh. No, nah, now. Nah. Don't be there. Somebody declaring the spiritual stuff. But now they're like, oh Lord, wait a minute, God. Give me a second. Wait till after lunch today because I got plans. I got plans to go to Grandma's Fat Back Kitchen. They got a special on the fatty fat splat plate and all you get is just fat <laughs> ain't no chicken just chicken skin we, we specialize in all the skins of things just pig skin and chicken skin <laughs> pastor don't make me declare this until after I'm going, I, I have the PDF. I'm going to download the PDF. I have it. I have it. Around 3, 3 o'clock, 3.30 today, I will be declaring this. <laughs> Can't help you before because the reservations have been made. They have reservations at that place? Well, they, sometimes they run out of fat stuff. <laughs> <laughs> 
So we're going to declare this. Amen. Amen. Come on now. Come on now. I'm going to be walking over here somewhere. See, we, we put these nice lights up now. See, we got these lights over here. Y'all like these lights? Now we can see. We can see. We're going to declare this over here. Come on, Brother Sample. We're going to declare this. Come on, let's declare it together. Come on. We declare that we will eat healthier, exercise, and get better sleep this year. The devil heard you, so he's going to be blowing in your eyes. <laughs> the devil heard you, but you declared it. We will not be making bad choices because we ate too much sugar or we did not get enough sleep. Listen, I've had meetings with folks and they've gone off on me and the Holy Spirit spoke to me and said, ask them what they ate. I'm just going through a bad time. No, you're not. You have a bad diet. Brother, you're making decisions based on the junk you eating. You only got one brain and your brain is fueled by what you eat. And if you eat the wrong thing, your brain's going to think the wrong stuff. Yeah. 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 Even a lot of sexual things, masturbation, pornography, a lot of that's linked to your diet and your sleep patterns. Yeah. Eating chips every day. Sleeping two, three hours. Bag of chips on your chest. <laughs> you know what that is? You have no control. When you have no self-control, you're going to fall sexually. Because sexual, that's all about self-control. They don't want to hear me, but that's okay. I'm going to preach it. Amen. So, we're not going to make bad choices anymore. When should I buy this house eating a honey bun? The one with the white glaze you can just pull off. Remember that one? <laughs> he looked too detailed right there, Jim. He said, see, it be sticking to the roof of your mouth. You know that, that white coat. Hey, hey, God is dealing with him. God working with him. Amen. God is working with him. That's all. It's okay. He stood up front for a reason. But yeah, they put, you know the one with the white coat, it just come off in one solid piece. You put it on something else. And they ripping you off because the rest is just regular bread. Just regular bread. And I hate when they get the scientific names for the stuff and just really think they're doing something, Landon. You know what I'm talking about. You're a trainer. Well, you know, I had to eat that. I needed some energy. I needed protein. See, my triglycerides was low. And I needed... <laughs> Brother. <laughs> I needed some beef. You know, I needed some beef. Boy, that link sausage you got in the vending machine ain't beef. Soaking in red juice. <laughs> I just needed something, brother. I needed some energy because I just did my workout. What? <laughs> the Lord is speaking. He's speaking. Somebody don't like it. They was like all the other slides. We were one. <laughs> but this one right here, Pastor, Pastor, you done hit us with something. But you got to declare it first. You got to declare it first. You got to look yourself in the mirror. Look yourself in the mirror and speak health on yourself. And say, you know what? I look jive now, but it's going to get better in 2023. Yes, I'm going to do something about it. I'm going to do something about it. I'm going to sleep when I'm supposed to be asleep. Don't you know there's a time you're supposed to be asleep?
Jesus had to cast the demon out of that wild man in the graveyard. He got on that boat and he wasn't worried about the storm. Jesus said, you know what? I need my energy because this dude that I'm about to face is crazy. So I'll be below sleep. Boat about to turn over Jesus down there. Because he know can't nothing happen. Jesus probably wasn't snoring because I'm sure he had a better diet than some of us. Let me take that off my Savior. Sorry, Lord. I didn't mean to insult you in any kind of way and bring you into our foolishness like that. Forgive me, Lord. But the Lord, he was down there sleeping good. Jesus trying to get sleep because he knew he had to work. You got to sleep if you work. If you're not sleeping and you try to work, you're going to do crazy stuff. You're going to make bad choices. Repeat this after me. We declare good habits in Jesus' name. 3 John 2. Beloved, I wish above all things that you may as prosper and be in health even as thy soul prosper. We declare that we are saved and our family will be saved. See? We declare that we are saved. Every one of our children, call them by name. They will be saved. They are saved. They will remain saved. They will see Jesus with me. My family, I declare it right now. We declare that we are saved. And our family will be saved. We declare that we will overcome all. How much is all? all. Every sin struggle. Every struggle with sin. Anything that we're doing, anything we're trying to stop doing. Anything that's in our way. We declare that we're going to overcome it. All emotional issues. All that crazy acting and crazy crying. All that crazy feeling some kind of way and folks ain't even done nothing to you. All that old foolish, crazy, emotional junk that got in you during your upbringing because you had hatred for somebody, because you got angry at somebody, because somebody violated you. Whatever happened that caused you to be crazy in that area. All emotional issues. We declare that this year we're overcoming them. And all spiritual battles we will overcome. How do I know? Because we're on the right side. We're on the winning side. We're on the side that can't lose. We're on the side that wins every battle. God can't lose. No matter what it looks like. Come on, say that with me. No matter what it looks like, we are victorious through Jesus Christ. Romans 8 and 37. Nay, in all things, all these things, we are more than... See, you know what a conqueror is? A conqueror is somebody that wins. Right? They win and they intentionally win. They don't accidentally win. They conquer. That means they set out to win and they win. That's conquer. Well, the Bible just says we're more than conqueror. You know what that means? More than conqueror says that even though we've conquered this one, there's more we got to do. And because we're with God, we're going to keep conquering. We'll never stop conquering. We're more than just a conqueror on this issue. We got all these issues handled. All the sin struggles. All emotional issues. All spiritual battles. We will conquer them all. Because we're more than conquerors through him that loved us. We declare that no matter how scary or weird things look. And get ready for weird things. Our faith will remain in our God. Things look very strange in the Old Testament. Now, can you imagine being in the Old Testament and seeing the strange things that happened around God's people? You hear me? I said around God's people. Yeah, around it. They had to see a whole bunch of crazy things that happened around them. I mean, they're following God. He was a cloud by day and a, a, he was a pillar by day and a what, fire by night. 
they firing, they're following pillars and clouds. They saw a sea open up with whales to the left, sharks to the right, and walk through it. Those are strange occurrences. Science can't explain them. So things look very strange in the Old Testament when God would operate between realms with great feats. When we see supernatural occurrences in 2023, we will remember that God is the what? Creator of all. So we don't have to fear. Amen. Look at somebody and say, don't be scared. Don't be what you're scared of. And you know anything the world do, there's some kind of trick to it. It's an illusion. Psalms 106, 21 through 22. They forgot God their Savior, which had done great things in Egypt. Wondrous works in the land of Ham. And terrible things by the Red Sea. Oh, I like when it says terrible things. That means it was scary. Walking through that water on dry land. That's scary. God did it all. Amen. Summary. Twenty twenty three is gonna be different. Yeah. Yeah. The weather balloon. That, that's just the beginning. It's gonna be different. God is going to allow the enemy to do certain things to further draw the line between the church and the world. All gray areas will be erased and everything will be seen for what it truly is. Those of us that are on the Lord's side must make a, our declaration now and stand on it in faith for the coming year. No matter what we see, we must still believe. No matter what they say, we must still believe. No matter what they do, we must still believe. And no matter how many go left, we must stay right. Declare your position, saints of God, and stand firm on it. Be unmovable, unshakable, and unbreakable, adamant believers. This is our declaration, and we will not be moved in Jesus' name. Amen. Hebrews 10 and 22. Let us draw near with a true heart in full assurance of faith, having our hearts sprinkled from an evil conscience and our bodies washed with pure water. And let us hold fast the profession or declaration of our faith without wavering, for he is faithful that promised. And let us consider one another to provoke unto love and to good works, not forsaken, the assembling of ourselves together as the manner as some folks are trying to do. But exhorting one another and so much the more as ye see the day approaching. Everyone stand to your feet. You made the declaration. You made the declarations and download this or you can declare it some more. But I want to pray for your faith. Amen. I want to pray for your faith. So if you need me to pray for your faith in declaring these things, just come up. You've declared them, but you want the faith now to make it happen. I'm tired of falling back to this. I'm tired of allowing this. I'm tired of that. I need the faith to declare. Y'all, we are a church made up of human beings amen. amen and so we're all tempted on every side we're all tried on every side the devil tries to get each and every one of us every week you nobody in here supersonically saved to where the devil don't mess with them everybody in here is fighting something struggling with something trying to overcome something so we, we we're not blindly in here we know stuff's going on we just believe that if we declare the right thing, we can have victory over it. Amen? That's what we believe. That's why we're here. We're here because we believe that our declaration 
is important. It means something. It moves something. It changes something. So we got to have faith in our declaration. So everyone just bow your heads. Father God, we just thank you, Lord. Thank you, God, for this message. Thank you for this church. Thank you for these people. Thank you, Father God, for each and every family that's here. Thank you, Father God, for everyone that you have brought, brought to Adamant Believers Council. Father God, they came through great trials and tribulations just to be here. They fought naysay and fought people trying to stop them just to be here. And since they've been here, they've fallen in love with the truth that is being preached. So I pray, Father God, that you would give them the faith to stand strong on each and every one of these declarations. Everything that they declare, Father God, give them the strength to stand strong on it and father god open up their eyes to methods open up their eyes to sources show them the things father god that are leading them in to the wrong places and the things that are leading them into the wrong spirits and the father god the things that are leading them astray open their eyes so that their declaration can stay strong father god and they can declare those things gone out of their lives so that they can stand strong in this hour come on everyone lift your hands up and father god we love you. We love you because you share truth with us. We love you because you've created a place where we can come and freely give our hearts to you, our worship to you, our time to you. We thank you for Adamant Believers Council. God, we thank you for every brick in this building. We thank you for the carpet we're standing on. We thank you for the wonderful musicians and the praise team. We thank you for the leaders, the elders, the deacons. We thank you for all that you've blessed us with in this place and we won't take it for granted but Father God we're going to declare together as a church family as a church family believing that these declarations are solid and will be unmovable unshakable and unbreakable adamant believers in this hour in Jesus name we declare it and we believe it amen Amen. Come on, put your hands together. Hallelujah. 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 Now put your arms around somebody and say, I've declared it. And it is so. And it shall be. I declare it. Hallelujah. 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 You may be on your way to your seats, but we just thank God for his deck for us de declaring these things so. Make sure you get the PDF and read them and continue to declare. It, and don't declare them based on what you see. Declare them until you see it. Amen. Hallelujah.